Yes. The word of God said, I am the true vine. Yes. And my father is a husband man. Uh -huh. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bear fruit, he purges it. Yes. And he yes. Be, that it may bring forth more fruit. Third verse, now you are clean to the word yes. which I've spoken unto you. Yes. Abide in me. Mm -hmm. Everybody say, abide, abide in me. Uh, come on, we got to abide. Hallelujah. Yes. That means to dwell. That means to live. Yes. That means to stay. Hallelujah. Stay in me. Hallelujah. And I in you. As a branch cannot bear forth fruit by itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can you accept your abide in me. Again, yes. fifth verse. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Uh -huh. And he that abide in me, and I in him, the same shall bring forth fruit. Yes. For without me, uh -huh. come on, without me, uh -huh. that's Jesus, yes. you can do what? You can do that what? You can't nothing. do nothing. Yes. Nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this morning, Lord, was saying to me, tell my people to abide in the vine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stay in the word. Yes. Jesus is the word. He said, I'm the truth and the light. And the Bible says there too, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word became flesh. Yes. Jesus is the word. Yes. We have a remain in the word this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And one more verse with this. I think, Lord, may go down a little further on this. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I said. Okay, then we we'll go into six verse. If a man abide not in me, uh -huh. he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, yes. and cast them into the fire, and they are burnt. If you abide in me, and my what? Words. My words abide in you. You shall ask Look at the benefits, y'all, there. Uh -huh. Hey, uh -huh. look at the benefits there. You should ask what you will, uh -huh. and it shall be done. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody got some things you want to ask God for this yeah. morning? Yeah. Come on, abide yeah. in the word. Come yeah. on, abide in the word. Hallelujah, hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't do anything without Nothing. the Lord. Nothing. Hallelujah. Nothing. That's why people are drifting, because uh -huh. they don't have the Lord. But if you abide in the Lord, you can ask anything. Yes, and God. We have yes, a Father. God. Hallelujah. He, we have a Father that loves us and yes. takes care of us. Thank He's you, a bread of life. Hallelujah. You, He's a rose of sharing. Thank He's the one that takes care of us. The Bible says, Thank I'm the good shepherd. I know as a young people, if you grew up in a, a house of that was had prayer or even on going to church, what do you say? The Lord is my what? Shepherd. Yeah. Uh -huh. A shepherd provides yes, protection yes. for his sheep. Hallelujah. Yes. Abide, 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 okay. abide, abide. Hallelujah. Come on, abide. Oh, Thank consider you, this. I want to abide in you, Lord, this morning. I want to live in you this morning, oh God. Hallelujah. I want to dwell in you, God, this morning. I want to be obedient to you this morning, God. Yes, Thank yes. you, God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. We're connected Hallelujah. to you, God. We're connected. We're connected. Thank oh, yes, that prayer this morning. I want to be connected to you. Yes. Everything yes. I do, everything I say, yes. where my where my walk is, I want to be right there. Yes. Connected to you. Yes. Connected to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 His name is wonderful. Talk about Jesus. Yeah. His name is wonderful. Yes, God. Yes, God. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. Yes. Bow down before him. Oh, yes, Lord. Love and his name is wonderful, Jesus, my Lord. I said his name is wonderful. Hey, my counselor, his name is wonderful.
Hallelujah. 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 Yes. I don't know about you, but you know, a lot of times when I think about Jesus, huh? He is my friend. Yes. He is my friend. Yes. Hallelujah. I got he's my father too. I don't know about you. He's my father. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 My mother, my father. Even before that, hallelujah, I was a child raised up by my mother. And yes. guess what? I took a lot of time just praying and jumping in the lap of God. I would yes. just jump right there. Yes. Put my head into his, his chest, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So I bless God this yes. morning. I bless God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. I just want somebody to say, what is Jesus to you? Just yell something out. What is Jesus to you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think my time is up. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on up, Pastor. I mean, help the bill. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Give God a hand clap. Glorify his name. Glorify his name. Yes, God. you've given us, Lord. Yes, yes. We bless your holy and righteous name, yes. Lord God. We look unto you, Lord. For you are the author and the finish of our faith, Lord God. Oh God, as we come this day, Lord, we hunger and thirst for righteousness, yes, Lord God. Yes, yes. Lord, we ask that you fill us, Lord. Fill us to the overflow, God. Fill us that we can give others, oh God. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we see the prophetic clock moving, the church needs to move. Be about the Father's business, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, because you've given us an unction, Lord. The earnest desire, Lord God, to do your will, to do your work, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the mind to do your will, Lord God. We pray, O oh God, for those, Lord, that are without salvation, Lord, this day, Lord God. So many in the valley of decision, Lord God, not knowing which way to turn, Lord God. But we can be instruments of righteousness, Lord, to give them a word and season, Lord God. We bless you, Lord, for what you're doing in our lives, Lord, and our family lives, God. You know our petitions, Lord God, even before we ask, God. You know our heart's desire, Lord God. You know the earnestness of our heart, Lord God. Oh God, we pray, Lord God, that this day be a day of rejoicing in you, Lord God. That the songs, Lord, that the word would go forth, Lord. To your glory, to your honor, Lord God. Yes, God. Oh God, we lift up your holy and righteous name, Lord. Oh, God, you say, why do the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing, Lord God? But we know, oh, God, that you, you, you are yes. you alone, oh, God. Yes. You have the answer to life's problems, Lord God. Father, we thank you this day, Lord. We do everything to your glory and honor. Yes, sir. And as yes, we continue sir. in worship and song, Lord, mm -hmm. we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For doing what you're doing in our lives. Thank you, God. We ask these and all of the blessings in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 These seats are too comfortable. <laughs>
I'm gonna trust him until I die. verses 26 through 33 reads for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup yes. you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes yes. but he gives us somewhat of a warning he says there, therefore whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord but let a man examine Himself, uh -huh. and so let him eat of the bread and drink yes. of the cup. I want us to first hear that in, in context. People were coming together, and they were using the communion as a reason to drink. <laughs> okay, they were using the communion as a reason to eat, and he was saying, "I want you to take this serious." Yes. There are not many things that we do in the new in the church today that are sacred, and this is amongst the most. He says, but let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. Yes. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the world. And verse 33 says, Therefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. But if he, anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, lest you come together for judgment. And the rest I will set in order when I come. Yes. yes. Verse 23 reads, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us all 
eat together. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us all drink together. Which is right down the street. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right yes. around the corner. So we go there on the first Sunday of each month. We just go and we help and, um, you know, uh, yeah, we serve yeah. communion. We yeah. serve communion. Mm -hmm. We sing songs. We just give God yes. glory. Like there's a lot of times that people in nursing homes, they don't get a lot of contact with people. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, you know, you know, sometimes their, their families don't even come to visit them. Mm -hmm. And so we go there. We just kind of spend some time with them. We serve communion. And, and listen, they, it's yes. been such an encouragement. It has been. Um, and so God is just good. He just mm -hmm. continues to um, to use us. We just want to be his hands and feet. What yes. do we say? His hands and feet. Yes. Elbows, knees, elbows. Yes. his heel. Yes. I want to be Beyond whatever he wants me to be. Yes. Amen. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Quick reminder about noonday prayer. Um, so we have uh, Monday through Friday, we come together. We uh, do a noonday prayer. It's uh, through a conference call. The conference call number is 720-740-9830. And the access code is 833-8731. So uh, welcome also to the to our virtual audience. Those that are watching virtually, um, you can tune in. So that is Eastern Standard Time. Praise the Lord. Uh, and then... Midweek mid Bible study. So hold on, we're, we're going to be switching the name to Bible Education, right? Amen. Uh, Bible Amen. Education. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. Because uh, you know we 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 able to dig into a lot in the Word of God yes. on Thursdays yes. we really can't do on a Sunday, right? So we're yes. able to like 
you know, we go into a lot of the history behind the text and things like that. So we want to increase folks. How many of you have ever said, I want to learn more about the Bible, yes. right? Yes. You, you know, you've been, yes. yeah. So tuning in to Bible study or, show, or coming in in the building, we, you know, doors, of course, open at 715. This Bible study starts at 730. Yes. It's been so, 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 so good. Great. And I'm not just saying that because I'm the one doing a lot of the teaching. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, amen. amen, amen, amen. And so, uh, so, so yeah. So it's uh, it's really, really rewarding. Um, amen. And a lot of folks have um, shared with us sent us messages how it's been helping them amen. as well. And, and I like how you say it's not a monologue; it's a dialogue. It's not a monologue; you know, it's a dialogue. It's a time for us to ask our questions. There you go. Amen. amen. So, so we have to um, answer questions, and um, um, we also want to take a moment out to welcome our yes. visitors, our newcomers, or visitors. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Amen. We do have um, welcome bags, too, before you leave. Just yes. Sure you get one of our welcome bags. So. Amen, amen. Thank you for coming out. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, then, and last but not least, last we are back in the building. On Sunday. Yes. Um, but if you can hand me that, uh, the, the book bag, I guess it's a book bag. I don't put books yes, in there. it's a book bag. <laughs> um, this is one of the gifts that, uh, the, the, the April owner of showers. April Showers gave me. Yes. I mean, this is nice. Like, wow. this is real nice, yeah. nice. It really like, is. I was like, hey, you know, um, but she, she blessed me with this and... I wanted to take a moment out if I could figure out how to unzip it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's military, so like, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. I wanted to do this very, very quickly before we do our offering. Um, so last week and last month, we took a, some time out. We took some time out to just honor those, to honor, um, or you guys took time out to honor me my wife and myself, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for those that did that, for, for, the, for the ministry as a whole, but um, I wanted to take um, some time out to just honor a few folks before we Amen. go together, because if it weren't for some of these folks, I, we really wouldn't be able to do what it is we do. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, let me start with Brother Jeremiah Lemon. <laughs> So, so Jeremiah, um, when when I first when I first uh -huh. said, hey, uh, so, or when we first, because I couldn't say it if she didn't say it with us, <laughs> with me. Right, but when we first said we were setting out to do this, he was like, okay, I'm, I'm boom, sure like sure with did. no Don't question, hesitation. no hesitation, yes. and I'm talking about through moving stuff and <laughs> keeping stuff in his car for us, and uh -huh. and. Yes. and Helping out and cooking last week. This is just a small token of our appreciation to you. And again, I want to do so much more, but yes. for right now, and this we is, will. And we will. We will. Right. Yeah. But I just want to say thank you, brother. I really appreciate you. I love you, man. Amen. 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 Been a blessing and encouragement, mm -hmm. even to Pastor, just like you said, with just stepping out, like, yep, I'm with you, I got you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's truly been a blessing. And uh, he hasn't complained yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I also want to do uh, this one. This is for Faith. Yay! 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 So throughout this month, we're going to be taking time out to celebrate um, quite a few of you. Uh, but this is to start it out. Faith, Faith, uh, of course, she's my sister, uh -huh. but she's been my road dog for years. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, you know, anytime I've spent in ministry, she was always there, Amen. right? Any Anything I've done, whether it was plays that we've done, she was always there. Oh, she, right. so, or yeah. plays that we've done. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so I think I thank God for faith. Thank you so much. You the back song. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. True to her name, Faithful. That's a media mogul. Yes. And so um, over the next few weeks, there's going to be a few, you know, a few of you who have helped us out. Yes. We're going to be celebrating you as well. Amen. So I just want to say thank you for all that you guys yes. have done. Amen. 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 I have more in the bag, but we got we don't have much time, so we're going to spread it out. We're going to spread it out. Okay. So, um, but that being said, we're going to go into our next form of worship, which is. 
Okay. Amen. It's just not giving. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, listen, <clears throat> um, our giving is, this is an important time. This is an opportunity to show into God's kingdom. Um, we, I love the scripture where it says that, you know, we, we don't talk about giving based on necessity or grudgingly. I don't want, we don't want folks giving because you've been, we've twisted your arm, right? You beat you down. Hey, you got to give. We got to pay bills and stuff like that, right? Listen, God has literally met every single need. Every. Oh, glory. Every, every single need. Every. 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 So us, us following the, this, this principle, yes. uh, listen, what, what we're trying to get us, um, get folks to a place of, listen, because uh, we do believe in the time. We, we believe yes. in the time. But we're trying to get folks to elevate beyond, beyond yes. the concept of the time, which is a regulated rule that says this is what you um, this is what you must do. And to this is what I want to do. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Right? Amen. We're trying to move us from this is what I must do to this is what I want to do. do. And so we want to do through saying, um, Holy Spirit, what, what do you want me to give today? Yes, okay. yes. What do you want me to give today? Yes. That's when the scripture says, he said, let every man mm -hmm. set aside, right? Yes. What what he has set in his heart right. out to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is what this is about. So uh, again, if you want to if you want to tithe, you can tithe. Tithe means ten percent of your increase. Yes. Um, if you want to do according to how the Lord leads you, right? The woman with the widow's mite, she gave a mite that's like a penny. Less than. It's less than a penny, less but than. But it was more than everybody who had gave yes, big checks. Yes, yes, right? yes. So don't 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 put that in your mind that okay, all I got is twenty, that's all I can do, that's bad. No, listen to me. If whatever you can do, if God has has said it's okay, then it's okay. Amen. All right, amen. praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So together, cool. let us uh Oh yeah, I'm saying she got me on track. <laughs> all right, so we have several ways of giving. Uh, yeah, then. Cash tag and also uh, what is this through PayPal. PayPal. So yes. you have for those that are in person on the tables, you have two um, um, UPC codes. You can scan either one of those with your camera. It'll pull up a link. You click on the link, take you right to where you can give. If okay. you're using Cash App, you can just um, type in dollar sign Psalm ninety one Ministries. That's is for those watching via live. Just click on the link. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Okay. And. Um, Amen. And so, we can, and the checks can be made out to Psalm 91 Ministries, and then we have envelopes. envelopes at the table right here, where you can just leave your offering in the basket, or you can deposit it on your way out. Okay, Amen. that's the exit. All right, so yeah, With that being said, if that's everyone will please stand. We will do our offertory prayer Amen. together collectively Amen. in one accord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, let us begin. O oh, Father in heaven, you have told us that we will reap what we sow. This is true not only in our character, but in our conduct. We want to trust you today with our offerings, knowing that you are trustworthy to use them for your kingdom and to continue in your provision for us. For your word says, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loves a cheerful giver. Help us to be cheerful givers today. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray your blessing be upon each and every seed, every offering, Lord God, every gift, Lord God. We thank you for blessing it back, some 10, some 20, some 100 fold. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Give you praise, glory, and honor. Let the church say amen. 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 As we are going to have our sermonic selection. Amen. By the one and only. Okay. <laughs> amen.
give you honor. We thank you for this another day. We thank you, Lord God, that you say where two or three are gathered together in your name, you're in the midst, Lord God. Father, you said a thousand may fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for bringing thank you, your church yes. together, for calling your church. Yes, yes, yes. Your protected church. Yes. Your bride. Yes. We thank you for using us for your glory. Yes. Now, Father, we pray, Lord God, this day that you would use these ears that I might hear, God, these lips that I might speak. Yes. Your word, not my own. Continue to use us all for your glory. Soften our hearts that we might receive your word. Yes. In yes. Jesus' name. Jesus. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. Jesus. Let the church say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Ooh, praise the Lord. <laughs> so, um, the last few weeks have been something. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. Um, somebody, uh, um, some, somebody said to me, called me, I said, he said when are you going to do it again? I said, Woo. I said, that was a lot of work. <laughs> you know, that's a lot of work, you know, um, for, you know, for those that, that saw the um, April showers event uh, from last week, and I can just getting so much feedback from that, so many people, um, so seeds and bless this and yes. things like that, yes. and so we just want to be able to continue to work. I said, but it's a, it's a lot of work, it it's is. a lot of work, it but is. the Bible says, Pray the Lord of the harvest, and He yes. shall send labor. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Um, huh. My Lord, my Lord, come on now. Hmm. Some of y'all just are saying. Uh, Oh, he's about to burn up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that to say that this is what it's like to pick and choose yeah. what we want to receive from the Word. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, for those that are super sacrilegious, uh, super re religious, understand, I just pulled out the note page. <laughs> I have my limits. To <laughs> I went for the map in the back. I said, oh, you know, don't hit me over the map. <laughs> Hallelujah. But, uh, but, I, but I, I did this as an example because there are things in the Bible, the Word of God, that he tells us that a lot of times, you know, we figure that the word of God is like a buffet, meaning, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Right. It's like, uh, no, I don't, I don't feel like that today, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel like fried chicken right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand that the word of God, there, that the word of God gives us a bunch of good stuff, but it also gives us some stuff that we don't necessarily want to hear. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That we don't necessarily want to hear. Mm -hmm. um, in 2010, in 2010, um, <clears throat> it was uh, Father's Day. Father's Day. All of my brothers and my, you know, our, my, of course, my sister and my, and then, you know, our spouses and whatever. We got together with my parents. We got together so we could celebrate Father's Day. So my father, he, you know, he was, you know, this man had never gone to the hospital. I, I mean. I never seen him sick. Never seen him sick. So we're at Dave, not Dave and Buster's, famous Dave's, Dave's yes. the rib place, right? Yeah. And it was good. It was good. <laughs> it was good. We had a good old time. I think we had bought like one of them, the big meal yeah. platters, and we were all going, like, ah, you know. And so, as far as I say, we had a good time. I said, okay, Dad, you know, we had to go because I had to work. I was working a third shift job at the time, so I go home, and I, you know, when I worked, I was working. Um, what, 10, 14 hours some, day, some days. Yes. So I get there, and this is one of those days. It's a 10, 14-hour day. And I'm so tired. 
that nothing can wake me up. My wife is calling me and calling me and calling me because she's at work. And she's calling me, calling me, calling me. So then, you know, there's a knock on the door and she comes in the room. And I know it. I'm, I'm so out of it that I'm like, why are you home? But I just, like, I just, like, I was really disoriented. Mm -hmm. And she came in and she told me, she said, John, your dad died. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about something that really shattered mm -hmm. everything that I did. You know, like my, my father was, even though we had somewhat of a, you know, a contentious um, relationship early on, um, we later on developed like I was like he was still he was always my hero. He was always my hero. I mean, this guy like this little fella, all of these muscles, <laughs> right? And uh, and I, and again, brothers, I don't know if it's a good thing that we not go to the doctor. Just something, just throw that out there. But um, he he you know he was he was my hero. And I remember myself asking, like, God, why? I mean, this was a man of faith. I mean, he played, laid hands on somebody who cracked their skull, and their skull, like, the skin came back together. My God, yeah. Like, this man, the, the, the anointing that was on my father, I mean, listen, the, the miracles that happened at the hands of my father, and I said, God, how could you take him? Why? And how many have ever asked the question, God, why? Yes. 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 Why is this happening to me? Mm -hmm. You know, why, God? Why them? Why now? Yes. Yes. And it goes back to the word of God. You know, um, the Lord showed something to me. He said, like, you know, we all love the promises of God, but we don't love certain promises of God. The Bible says that it is appointed unto man one time to die, and then after that, the judgment. He said, it's a promise that every single one of us is going to die someday. I said, God, but that's not one I don't want. I'd rather rip that out, God. I don't, want to, I don't want that part. I don't want the part that talks about suffering. I don't want to talk about hardship. I don't want that part, God. I want the one that tells me that all i got to do is dance and sing and this. But what I found that I was in such a place that I didn't realize how much pain I was in. My why, I was so isolated in my why that there was a moment I was driving and I literally started veering off because something hit me to crash my car. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm the assistant pastor and, and I'm, I'm the this and I'm the youth pastor and I'm, I'm, I'm this and I'm this and I'm all of these things. And I was confined to my why. We're going to talk about a guy who had some whys. Um, Job. And you know, something God said to me this morning. He said, there's a reason why Y falls in between, in, in the alphabet, Y falls in between X and Z. Mm -hmm. See, because X represents the unknown. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? And a lot of times we don't know. And Z represents the most unused letter in the alphabet, mm -hmm. meaning that the that 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 the what comes after your Y is the most unused or untapped wow. thing out there. But it's there, and our job is to help you find it, to yeah. find your Z. Wow, wow. Now historical context about Job. Job is one of the books of poetry. And it is not pronounced job, because, you know, somebody was looking for somehow, you know, blessing on their job search, and they went to read Job, and they got all discombobulated. So it's not job, it's Job. Job is one of the books of poetry. There is Job, Psalms, um, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Psalm of Solomon. Right? Now, Job is actually, even though it, if you find it right before the book of Psalms, Job is actually dated during the time of Genesis. So he actually operated and lives during the time of Abraham. Wow. Wow. You, one of the pieces of evidence is his age. At the end of the book, it tells us that he lives about four generations. He dies 120 years. So because of the age, if you remember how people aged, they, they lived a long periods of time in the beginning. Right? So <clears throat> Job actually finds himself. He is up there, probably right before Abraham, but he is the richest man in the East. Mm -hmm. Now let's read. Now we're reading um, Job chapter. Have the clicker. 
Or Jeremiah would be the clicker. <laughs> <laughs> Told you that brother does everything. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. Verse 1 says, There once was a man named Job who lived in the land of Uz. He was blameless, a man of complete integrity. He feared God and stayed away from evil. He had seven sons and three daughters. I would love to, to talk about the ten, what that represents mm -hmm. in the Bible, but I can't. i got to stay on task. He owned 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels. Again, it's another verb of a ten, but that's going to be it for another day. 500 teens of oxen and 500 female donkeys. Again, that's a ten and re represents something for another day. Um, he had many servants. He was, in fact, the richest person in that entire area. Mm. Job's sons would take turns preparing feasts in their homes, and they would also invite their three sisters to celebrate with them. When these celebrations ended, when these celebrations ended, sometimes after several days, Job would purify his children. He would get up early in the morning and offer a burnt offering for each of them. For Job said to himself, perhaps my children have sinned and have cursed God in their hearts. This was Job's regular practice. Mm -hmm. Wow. He was a prayer warrior. Mm. Not only was he a good man, he was praying and sowing seeds in case his children were doing dirt. Wow, boy. Wow. My God. Hey, Some of us need to take some lessons. Yes, <laughs> Come on. One day, verse 6, one day, the members of the heavenly court came to present themselves before the Lord and the accuser, Satan, came with them. Now, chronologically, just for those uh, theologians in the building, chronologically, this is the first time the time term Satan is actually brought up in the Bible. Wow. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, where have you come from? The Lord asked Satan. Satan answered the Lord, I have been patrolling the earth, watching everything that's going on. Now, he's referred to as the accuser, Satan. In Revelations, we're told he's the accuser of the brother. He accuses us day in and day out. Yes. Yes. So where we find this picture is the heavenly host of God, the angels of God, right, coming before God. And each of these are principalities mm -hmm. that come representing nations and countries and cities. And they come and they present and give reports unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says Satan, who, who is also still able to access heaven. Come on, come on, come on, come on. teach, teach. Mm -hmm. He is still able to access heaven. Mm -hmm. So I would like to talk about how, how that God, is. It's going to be another day. Okay, listen. He's still able to access heaven, and he has a seat before God. Wow, wow. Let me do it anyway. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Let's understand. When Satan was cast out, what he did in order to get a seat back in the heavenlies yes. is he, he, he tricked uh -huh. Adam and Eve uh -huh. out of their seat. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. My God. My yes. God. So when Adam sinned, uh -huh. he gave Satan his jacket. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So now, instead of Adam being the God of this earth, look, case hmm. G, understand, hmm. I'm not saying... Because he said, I'll make you, he says, in my image, after my likeness. Now, Satan is the God of this earth. Mm. Now, Jesus wow. said that. That's right. That's what he said. Wow. That's what he said. Wow. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. So now, wow. he goes and he speaks on behalf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because he was able to deceive Adam out of his position. Oh, my mm. God. My God. Wow. Sorry, I told you it's not going to be on things. <laughs> <laughs> Then the Lord asked Satan. So he says, I've been patrolling the earth, watching everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord asked Satan, have you noticed my servant Job? He is the finest man in all the earth. He ain't talking about looks. He says, he is blameless. A man of complete integrity. He fears God and stays away from evil. Satan replied to the Lord, yes, but Job has good reason to fear you. You have always put a wall of protection around him and his home and his property. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have made him prosper in everything he does. Mm. Look how rich he is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Rich, my God. Mm. Oh my God, God did it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
but reach out and take away everything he has. Listen to what Satan says. But reach out and take away everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. Mm -hmm. Now notice what Satan is trying to do. Mm -hmm. He's trying to trick God. Mm -hmm. He says, you reach out and you touch him. Mm -hmm. Listen to how God re responds. Um, he says, but reach out and take away everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. All right, you may test him. The Lord said to him, do whatever you want with everything he possesses, but don't harm him physically. So Satan left the Lord's presence. One day, when Job's sons and daughters were fe feasting at the oldest brother's house, a messenger arrived at Job's home with this news. Your oxen were plowing and with the donkeys feeding beside them. When the Sabians raided us, they stole all the animals and killed all the farmlands. I am the only one who escaped to tell you. While he was speaking, another messenger arrived with this news. The fire of God has fallen from heaven and burned yes. up your sheep and all the shepherds. And I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. It's two messengers. How many people have heard that it, when it rains, it pours? Yes. Yeah. Why does it seem like when, 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 when problems happen, it happens all at the same time. You know, you got a, oh, you know, your car insurance raised up, you know, about $200. I'm talking about from, from experience. <laughs> and your, your, your uh, tire go flat, so you got to get a new tire. All at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um. While he was speaking, another messenger arrived from this news. The fire of God, meaning lightning, has fallen from heaven and burnt up your sheep and all the shepherds. I am the only one who escaped to tell you. Verse 17, while he was speaking, a third messenger arrived with the news. Three bands of Chaldean raiders have stolen your camels and killed your servants. I am the only one who escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger arrived with this news. Your sons and daughters are feasting in their oldest brother's house. My God. Suddenly a powerful wind swept in from the wilderness and hit the house's house on all sides. The house collapsed. Yes. And all your children are dead. Mm. I am the only one who escaped to tell you. Ooh, Jesus. Job stood up and tore his robe in grief. Then he shaved his head and fell to the ground to worship. My God, worship. Mm -hmm. He said, I came naked from my mother's womb, and I will be naked when I leave. The Lord gave me what I had, and the Lord has taken it away. Yes, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. In all of this, Job did not sin by blaming God. Amen. 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 How many of us would have done that? How many of us would have immediately went into worship? Now, this is not to shame you. It's to say, hey, listen, there's a lesson in this. Yes. I, I, I want to talk to you today about turning your why into a what. Mm. Mm. Come on now. Mm. Instead of me being focused on why, God, why, mm -hmm. I'm going to turn that around to what are you trying to teach me in this? What, God? Job loses, um, Job suffers loss for more than, for two more chapters. Mm. In fact, his, his body is attacked. Satan comes back and says, okay, he said, he didn't curse you. He said, but listen, he said, give him boils. If you, if, you, if you do this, if you tear up his health, got to the point where Satan even got to speaking through his wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She said, boy, just curse God and die. Mm -hmm. She repeats the same thing that Satan exactly. says yes. to God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and the, the purpose of the book of Job is to highlight that when we are going through, whatever it is, whatever trials that you're going through, on the other side, in the supernatural, there's a conversation. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Jesus. In the supernatural, there is yes. a conversation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. And we have to understand that, that, that the why, the why, it's almost natural. God, why? Mm -hmm. Why me? Yes. We have to begin to spin that because yes. to say, God, why not me? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Would I prefer somebody else go through this? Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
Job spends the next 30 chapters with a back and forth with some colleagues, some other wise men, defending his innocence. He's saying, God, I can't defend myself against you because there's no point. But I didn't do anything wrong. God, I didn't do anything wrong to deserve this. And his friends are saying to him, Job, you sin. Just admit that you sin. That's why you're going through. Job says, I didn't sin. And so oftentimes we, we, we relate because there are times we go through because of things that we've done. Right? But there are also times that we're going through because of something God is trying to do. He defends his innocence. He's frustrated. He is even saying that God is unfair, but it's no point in me taking this before God because I'm going to lose because he's God. Yeah. He's asking why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He never asks what. God, what are you trying to teach mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. in this? Over the past three weeks, I've had to go to about three funerals. Yeah. Young, young. One, one young man was 21 years old. My God, my God. I funeralized my cousin about two weeks ago. He was 50, 50, 53. And I looked at the families and I looked at the, the you know, as I'm looking at, you know, my cousin's family and I'm looking at, or our, you know, our family, I'm looking at the other young man. And just like this hopelessness, people are saying, why? Mm -hmm. Yes. God, what are you trying to show me? Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about suffering, or another word for suffering is hardship. Why do we go through hardship? Because God is trying to bring our attention to something. But God's purpose must override my preference. Oh, come mm. on. Come on now. Jesus. Ooh. See, my preference is California, sunny days, Hawaii, tropical. But God planted me over there in Garrison. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> See, his purpose has to override my preference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My preference is no pain, a life of no pain. Yes. But do you realize that without pain, you would never have learned to ride a bike? That's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Without pain, you would never have brought, brought forth children. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That pain is of necessity in order to bring something great into the world. Yes. Wow, yes. wow. Okay. My preference is that I would never experience loss. My preference is there are no rules. I would prefer there to be no rules. I would prefer there to not be a speed limit. I just would prefer it. <laughs> Until somebody else endangers my life. I prefer that there were no no's. I prefer that God would only say yes to me. But there are times when God tells us, no. John, this is not good for you. Yes. You know, I know that the Bible says the promises of, to, of God are yea and amen. It said the promises. There's some things that we ask God for that ain't good for us. Yes. Why do we suffer or experience hardship? Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 says, What do we see? Is, what we do see is Jesus, for, who for a little while was given a position a little lower than the angels. And because he suffered death for us, he is now crowned with glory and honor. Mm -hmm. Yes, by God's grace, Jesus tasted death for everyone. Wow. Thank you, Lord. In order for God to give us mm -hmm. a promise, mm -hmm. there we have to go through a stage of hardship. Mm -hmm. There has to be a stage of hardship. Now, you know what? Now, if you are live, if your if your whole life has been hardship, there's probably something you're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. Because what we read about Job is that God blessed him, mm -hmm. and he went through a season of yes, hardship. Yes, yes. We as believers should not be living yes. in hardship yes. all the time. Yes. God wants to position us, mm -hmm. but 
What he tells us is that hardship is brought because God says, I'm trying to get your attention. Yes. There's maybe something I want you to learn about you. Come on. Come on. Mm. Come on. James chapter 1, verse 2 through 4 says, uh, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your uh -huh. endurance has a chance to grow. Do you realize that your endurance can't grow unless you are tested? Come on now. So when you say, God, give me more patience, understand what's coming. Oh, yes. 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 oh yes. my God. Gabby's middle name is Patience. She said, Daddy, come on now. Can you give me a different name? <laughs> Why? Because I don't, my preference is not to wait. Yeah. Yeah. I want everything now. Yeah. Yeah. What was the commercial? Called J.G. Whitworth. Oh, yeah. Now. Yeah. I want it now. I want it now, even though the interest rate is going to kill me. <laughs> so Jack is going to take my car, going to take my house. <laughs> and that jingle, but the jingle sound good. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, would you mind grabbing the... Okay, I want to I do this real quick. Um, endurance... Endurance grows through our hardship. Mm -hmm. So God says, yes, I'm going to give you, I, I want to give you, I want to give you an expected end. I want to bless your life. However, because of what Adam did in the garden, what God said to Adam, he said, because of what happened, he said, it's going to be toil and it's going to be hard. Everything in order to pull from the earth is going to be hard. Everything is going to be hard in order to get anything. He said, so because of what happened to Adam, now you, in order for you to get anything from God, he says that you have, unfortunately, in most cases, you're going to have to go through a hardship. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Yes. Mm. Satan wants to keep us in a cycle that should just be a season. Mm. Mm. Come on. Good work. Come right yes. All right. Now, y'all understand, I always, I don't, you know, this is my daughter's old crib. Searching it too. Yeah, that's creativity. <laughs> my wife made me think, buy this thing. It was expensive. I didn't throw it away. I said, girls, I don't care how old you get. <laughs> I'm going to use it for a play or something. <laughs> Satan wants to keep us in a cycle that God has just meant for to be a season. Mm. Now, this is the problem with living in the why. Mm. God, why did this happen to me? God, why did this happen to me? Why did it happen right now? Why am I going through this? Why is this so hard? What happens is the more you say that, the more you stay there. Oh, my God. Come on wow. now. He, he, here's three steps. I'm giving you three steps because I'm going to close this out. Three steps. Three steps to get out of this why. Right? No, number one, I want you to begin to address your thoughts with your words. Because if you don't address your thoughts with your words, your thoughts will begin to dress your words mm. with your thoughts. Wow. Any anybody like Popeye's chicken? Mm -hmm. oh, I said, oh, man, how, how is, am I the only one? Okay, no. so I said, do I gotta say hip hop? <laughs> 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 I gotta say hip hop chicken. Can I see? I'm so greasy. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, let's just let's go with this. Let's go with this. Okay. Let's say sweet potato pie. Come on, all black people, raise your hand. If anybody see pumpkin, somebody got to be <laughs> You ain't getting invited to Thanksgiving. Don't you bring no pumpkin pie to Thanksgiving. I'm sorry. Where was that one? <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner is a couple weeks, right? A couple weeks away. You can smell the, the, the sweet potato pie. You see the yams. You see the turkey, right? The buttery biscuits. They, the, the Butter is all on the biscuits, right? Like butter. Oh my goodness, the biscuits. Uh, now, 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 
Woo! My goodness. <laughs> the sweet potato pie. <laughs> the sweet potato pie. And then, and then, there's Bozo the Clown. <laughs> Do you see how I just helped you with your thought? I created thought. And then a word changed the thought. Because thoughts cannot change thoughts. My God. Oh, now. I'm, I'm going to use a real reference because I almost got jumped on Papa Groove, right? Your thoughts will beat down your thoughts. Mm. If, 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 I, if I allow my thoughts, my thoughts will say, God, why did this happen? God, I was praying. I was fasting. I was doing all of these things. Why did it happen, God? Why? And then what happens is if I don't use my mouth to address that why and address those thoughts, then my thoughts are going to jump on top of my why. So I got to switch it. I got to say, when those thoughts begin to take me or overtake me, God, I don't know everything, but I trust you. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 Yes. Though you yes. slay me, God, I yes. will trust you. Yes. The three Hebrew boys are about to be thrown into the fire. Yes. This is what they said. They said, even though we know that God can yes. get us out, yes. but if he chooses not to, I'm still not bowing down. Yes. So then my why became my what. Yes. And I got out of my what. Yes. Yes. Because I turn my why into a what? What are you telling me, God, today? Yes. What are you trying to teach me? Yes. Yes. I've even changed my language. Yes. I would used to say, I, I gotta get up. I gotta take the girls to school. Yes. Now I say, I get to take the girls yes. to school. Yes. Yes. Because God has changed and rearranged my very, the way I see things. Yes. Because yes. I understand that God says, hey, listen, I meant this to be a season. Yes. You turned it into a session mm. that is now mm. a cycle. Mm. My God. Jesus. Ooh. Jesus, help us, Lord. And now you can't get out, and I'm trying to get you out. Mm. 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 Oh, my God, help mm. us, Lord. Turning your why into a what? Yes. God, what do you want me to learn from this? Uh-huh. Number two. So number one is address your thoughts with your words or your thoughts will begin to address your words with those same thoughts. Notice Satan wanted to affect Job's words. He didn't want his car. He didn't have a car. He didn't want his camel. Uh-huh. <laughs> He didn't want, he did not, all of those things, all of the blessings that he had, Satan didn't want any of it. All he wanted was to affect Job's mouth. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I guarantee if I take this from her, Uh she'll curse you. If I take this, she'll curse you. Satan is trying, because if he can affect your mouth, then he'll keep you in Number two, put a song on your heart. Everybody in here has a song. Now, I want you to change it from, you know, what's the September song about Earth, Wind, and Fire? (laughs) Change it from that. That's your song? That's your song in your heart? Where's it have to go? Do you remember? Uh-huh. <laughs> that, that's the song in your heart. You gotta switch. Cause that don't help you doing look, that help you at the party. They help you at the cookout. They help you at the cookout. Do you remember? Uh, ah, ah. They help you at the cookout, but it don't help you. Come on now. When hell is breaking out in your life. So I need you to find a song. Yes, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. I need you to find a song. Mm-hmm. My song, everybody knows. My, uh, anybody who know me long enough know I sing the same song over and over again. <laughs> and I can't remember it now because you're all looking at me. <laughs> I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. <laughs> it 
in you. I will do a new thing in you. Whatever. I can't sing. You and I. I know my role. That's what I'm Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can talk with fast. <laughs> but this, but find a song. Yes. Cause, cause rhythm has a way of sticking with us. Yes. It's yes. 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 the power. Yes. yes. Brother Fernando, that's the, it's the power. Yes. We don't just do this. That has, that's power. Yes. When you sing, when you open your mouth. Yes. When we play with the, the instruments, yes. every instrument yes. is helping, it's yes. encouraging. Yes, yes. Number three, God restored Job. Now, that's what, I, there was so much in here I wanted to do, but I can't. God restored Job when he prayed for the ones who were hurting him. Oh, glory. In chapter 42, you fast forward, the same three that kept on accusing him of sin. God said, okay, I'm going to take the sickness that I had on you and I'm going to give it to them. Yeah. Because they were trying to be judgy. Mm. Right? Wow. And then he tells them, he says, now, you need to ask Job to pray for you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And then he had to tell Job, Job, you got to pray for them. <laughs> wow. Sometimes you don't want to pray for them. Come on now. Yeah. Can, I, can we be honest? Yeah. Sometimes you don't want to pray for your enemies. Yeah. That'd be one of them pages you want to rip yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> God, skip past that. Skip past that. Turn the other cheek. God, how many cheeks have got? I would do a new thing. God restored Job when Job prayed for his foes or his frenemies. Come on, okay. They weren't exactly enemies, and they weren't exactly friends. They were frenemies. Yeah, wow. yeah. Uh huh. God, the Bible says, God, uh, verse ten, chapter forty-two, verse ten of Job says, when God, when Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored Lord. his fortunes. Yeah. In fact, the Lord gave him twice as much as before. Wow. Another thing that the Y is intended to do. Is to keep you on I. Mm. That Y is designed to keep you focused on I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good word. Good word. So God says your release and your restoration is when you take your Y off of I. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Maybe you were hurt because you lost someone. Well. Let's take that and begin to help others yes. as they go through that process. Yes. Yes. God says, get out of your why. Mm. So that I can give you a why. Mm. It means a purpose. Mm. See, there's two different whys. The, the, the why is, why does that happen? Mm -hmm. And then the other one is, why am I here? God wants to get you out of why did that happen to why am I here? Now what is my assignment? Come on, come on. What do you want me to do with this pain, God? Yes. Am I gonna live in it? Uh-huh. God, what do you want me to do with this frustration and this anxiety? Am I gonna live it? He said, No, come on out, come on out. I'm trying to open the doors. Yes. He will do a new thing in you. I will do a new thing in you, whatever you ask for, whatever you pray for, all shall be blessed, the Lord. God wants to do a new thing. He wants to do a new thing. And the, here's the thing. God will hear us and hear our prayers. Listen, when we pray, I'm not saying that everybody who gets sick has to, you know, it has to be the worst. I'm saying, but listen, understanding what is the purpose of my why. Yes. My why. All right, God, I'm not even going to focus on that. I'm going to start focusing on my what. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do with this? In 2010, my why was trying to drive me off the road. 
And God was telling me, John, your dependence is so much on your dad. You know, the Bible says in Isaiah, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Isaiah didn't get the, his greatest revelation came after his Uzziah died. And again, we're not, we're not wishing for the, 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 for the, but he said, he said, listen, sometimes God's saying to you, I got, I need to release the thing that you, that made you the most comfortable. I need you to, I need you to be able to, I need you to, because this is when I'm teaching you to lean on me. Yes, yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Now, what's, what do we do next? When we see another brother or sister dealing, going through hardship, let's encourage them. Let's strengthen them. Let's pray for them. Yes. God has a purpose for everything that happens. Yes. Everything that happens. Even though he is not the architect of everything that happens. Satan was the architect mm -hmm. of Job's loss. But God says, I'm taking you through this season. Yes. Yes. And at the end, if you come out, you'll be like pure gold. Jesus. And the Bible says he blessed them with double. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Naked came I into this world, naked shall I return. Yes. Though he slay me, yet shall I trust him. Yes. The point is, is your trust attached to your job? Mm. Mm. Is the trust attached to grades? Is your t trust attached to circumstances? Do you truly put your trust in him? Jesus. Lord Jesus, we stand before you. As humble as we know how. Lord, we pray that you would use us for your glory, not our own. None of this matters without you. We have no why without you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody just worship. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. You're still the God who delivers. You're still the God who sets free. Yes, God. But Father, there are times when we don't understand why you do what you do. Yeah. That may not agree with me, but I'm falling in love with you. Yes. Yes. Change me. Use me for your glory. Reshape me. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Now, maybe you're watching, or maybe you're here in the building, maybe you're watching Be Alive, and you don't know Jesus Christ and a part of sin, because your why, your why meaning your purpose, is totally attached to him. It's attached to his cross. And if you don't accept the cross, your why means nothing. Jesus says, I'm the stairway to heaven. By me, only by me. There's no other way to get to heaven. There's no other way to commune with the Father, to be in right relationship without accepting Jesus Christ. Maybe you're watching, maybe you're here, you don't know Jesus and you want to know him. You can just raise your hand if you're sitting, you want to know him. I want to know Jesus Christ and pardon my sins. Hallelujah. Maybe you're watching, be it alive, you can type in, Jesus or salvation one of our leaders will reach out to you maybe you're in need of prayer he said preacher I just want to connect my faith with your faith I'm believing God for something and it's been hard you've been going through some trials you just say I want, to, I want prayer just raise your hand if you want, just want in need of prayer glory to God in the highest if you're in need of prayer watching a lot just type in prayer now, Father, I pray collectively over every person in this, in this building, over every person watching. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for moving. In Jesus' name. Those that are watching, be alive. You want to know Jesus Christ, just repeat this with me. Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I am in need of a Savior. I believe that Father, that you sent your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, 
to die on a cross for my sins. And I believe that you rose him from the grave with all power in his hands. Lord Jesus, I accept you into my heart. I make you the Lord of my life for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, I'm yours. Just say, I'm yours, God. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. And I promise you from this day forth, your life will never be the same. Commit your life wholly to God. Your life will never be the same. In Jesus' name. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Let the church say amen. 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 Elder Bill, please close out the word of prayer. I want to thank everyone for coming out today as well. God bless you all. Amen. God bless you all. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Truly, we thank you, Lord, for the word, fresh thank insight. Thank you, God. Yes. The word. Yes. And let us uh, just take it to heart and apply it to our lives. Yes. God is so good to us. Yes. God is yes. really good yes. to us. Yes. Oh, thank you, oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you. Thank you for blessing us, Lord. Thank you for fresh manna. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Yes. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling, to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Amen and amen. 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 Amen